Happy Thanksgiving Eve. I wanna make this quick video for any new drivers out there on the Spark app, specifically Walmart Spark orders. I've referenced this in some previous videos, but I want kind of one standalone that, uh, and I'll put it on the Walmart Spark driver playlist on YouTube. So if you're new here, or I guess if you're a vet, you can put in your two cents and help a fellow driver. Cause I know we have a lot of people signing up for these apps every day. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what orders to stay away from on this app when you can. Not all together, because you're gonna see some of these that will be okay, okay? And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a blueprint. When when all things are can kind of equal, what order to stay away from and which ones to accept instead so that you could earn smarter, get these drop-offs completed quicker, and give yourself less frustration at drop-off times. Let's get right into it. My name is Mr. Bet on You. I work in a gig economy for anybody that's new here. Um, I, am, I am also on a journey of sobriety. I have videos about that, and uh, we work the gig economy because it works for us right now. My first order today came in, and it was a decent pay. I think it was 25 bucks. It was a $4 tip attached, and I'll get into the tips, what to look for there, and why it might be important at some point in this video, but follow along. And there was also a customer required verification. Now that will mean if it's alcohol, that means you have to scan an ID. And if there's a passcode, a four digit passcode, we've talked about that in previous videos, you're going to need that to drop it off or you will have to return it. So new people out there and vets, give me your opinion. When you're going through orders and you're deciding, you know, you have, let's say in your queue, you could scroll and you're seeing four or five different options for orders, right? And when things are, when they're pretty much equal, meaning the mileage and the size of the order and the money's within a, a couple bucks, okay? Take the one, accept the one that does not require a customer verification over the one that does and do that every time. I don't mean to say don't take ones that are customer verification or alcohol or, you know, the passcode. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. But prime example, I accepted this one, but there was an issue at the drop off. My first order of the day, I get there not answering the phone, doesn't answer the text message. I, I call, after waiting maybe five minutes, I call a second time, finally picks up. She's not home. This order might have been from yesterday or whatever, and I asked her for a passcode, she's like, hold on, hold on. And she gives it to me and then I'm finally able to complete the delivery. But I spent about six minutes longer on it than I would have liked. Whereas if there was no customer, requires verification, I would have left that at the door, been on my way, and maybe I'm on my way to more earnings. So I mean to say that if I also saw, when I saw the $25, if there was a $22 order, similar in size and mileage and you know, and you're gonna see those, I would have taken that one instead possibly. That's what I'm telling you. Because if the $22 one doesn't require any verification, the process of dropping it off is probably gonna be easier for you, more seamless, smoother. Now that order might be to a, a, the 17th floor, well in that case, maybe, it, but you get what I'm saying. When you can, stay away from those if there's a similar or better offer, or even if it's paying a couple dollars less, but there's no customer required verification or no alcohol. I'm also not saying don't accept alcohol ones, I do those too, if the money's right, I'll deliver anything but you're going to have more steps, more loopholes to jump through when you accept these deliveries. Once again, disclaimer, I'm not saying don't take them because you're gonna need these. I do these all the time, every day I work, I do some of these. But if it was up to me and I had a choice and I'm looking at two different offers, accept the one that does not require that over the one that does. Also, when you're looking at orders, I do see, I'm breaking down if there's a tip or not. Also because, especially on the just for use, if you've got that 50 seconds or whatever, okay? Because sometimes you're looking at something too long, if it's not just for you, it might go away and then you miss out on an opportunity. But if there's not a tip attached to my experience now, now that I've been working this app a little bit, it doesn't mean that these people are miserable. It doesn't mean that it's gonna be an issue. However, a significant amount of times when there isn't a tip attached, that customer has either waited a while, had a previous bad experience, okay or 
is not going to be ready at the drop off. There's going to be some difficulty. Not all the time, but enough of the time. This video was made so that you can make good decisions. Similar fashion in my experience when I was doing DoorDash or if I do Uber or Instacart, consumers that don't leave tips are going to give you issues. Not all the time, but enough of the time. Stay away when you can. If you see a, a $30 order, okay, and you see a, another $30 order, and one has a tip and one doesn't, and they're similar in size and the mileage is about the same, take the one with the tip over the one that doesn't have a tip. Even if it's going an extra mile, let's say the one with the tip is going an extra mile, or there's an extra 10 items, do that one instead, please. Thank me later. Consumers at type 0, 0.00 are also going to be the ones, overwhelmingly, to give you bad ratings. A, because maybe they're gonna wait longer than the other customer because their order's been sitting there for a while. So their base pay from Walmart has to go up. So they're already agitated. Or they've had prior bad experience and anything that you might do that's not perfect might set them off to rate you lower. Once again, a full disclaimer, I'm not telling you not to do these. I do no tip orders every day on this app, but I'm selective in the ones that I choose and it helps me with my ratings, my sanity, and my, my smoother drop-offs. I'm always trying to get to the next order as quick as possible. The more time we are spending on drop-offs, the more time we are spending trying to appease consumers, the longer it takes to get to that second, third, fourth, tenth order of the day. I hope this video was helpful for you new people out there, my OGs, my vets that have been doing this way longer than me and might, might even be better. Drop some knowledge in the, in the, in the uh, comment section for our new drivers here and vets and we can all talk about it. What am I missing here? Um, there's a lot that you could add or not add to these type of videos as far as insights based on marketplace and experience. But for me, one, stay away when you can, if all things are equal, from customer verification orders. Stay away from non-tippers when you can and make good decisions when you're out there trying to make money. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Happy Thanksgiving for everybody tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope it's busy for you. And I'll see you in the next video. That's the pickup, Walmart pickup curbside area. Not one car at like 10 o'clock. Something, something, that's not right. Something's going on there.